All things considered, I think she's doing all right, isn't she, Jess? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound so sure. You've had a falling out. About what? John's funeral. There's going to be one. Not if I can help it. Fizz has asked Chess to organise a funeral. And you said no? Of course I said no. What else am I going to say? You should be thrown out with the rubbish. That's not what Fizz wants. Fizz doesn't know what she wants. We better get moving or we're going to miss this meeting. There's been some mix-up with our wages. When you see your sister next, you give her my love. Yeah, we're all thinking about her. Cheers. See you later. See you later. I know it's not my place, but... Oh, don't start. Ches! I said no, and I mean no. He's still Hope's father. He's nothing now. You look nice today. Thank you, Sean. That top really suits you. Yeah, definitely, Mum. All right, what are you after? Sorry? Five seconds. I don't know, you've reached out to someone. Four, and... three, two. Okay, please, can I have a birthday party? Please. Nothing mm. massive, Mum, I swear. And we will totally clean the whole house when we're done. What? You told me to sell it. Yeah, Shan, sell the party, not us into slavery. You always criticise. Hey, hello? You can have your little party. Yes! That was easy enough. But there are some conditions. Name them. Well, one. We invite the neighbours. Fine. Two, if you break anything, I'll break your necks. <gasps> and three, no mention of this engagement nonsense. Deal? Deal. Yeah, we're so over that, aren't we? <laughs> Are you the best one? Thank you. Oh, well, it's nice to see you both smiling again. See you later. Bye. Bye. I hate lying to you, Mum. I hate it. Yeah, no, babe, boy, it won't be for much longer, eh? You ready to go ring shopping? <gasps> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Come on, it is. it? Have you had your ages, then? Um, I haven't actually checked. Well, I wouldn't bother if I were you. What? Are you saying you've not been paid? Give the lady a cigar. None of us have. Oh, is that all you've got to say? Come on, it's not Hayley's fault. I've got a really bad feeling about this. OK, I'm panicking now. Oh, please, I need everybody to calm down. Well, then give us some answers. <laughs> Mrs Connor, can I, uh... Not now. Nothing to worry about. I'll handle it. You better. Morning. Morning. Mm. <sighs> Nothing public. Sorry. Oh, forget it then. Oh, all right. So what can I do for you? Well, I'll just have to settle for a cup of tea then, won't I? Is that it? Yeah. No cup breakfast. Nope. You're sickening for something. Never summer. better. Just saved myself for dinner tonight. Dinner. Thought you'd never ask. Oh. I'd love to go out, but I can't leave Faye. <sighs> morning. Oh, morning. Ever the, um, has the mail come yet? Because I'm expecting something from the adoption agency. Nothing yet. So, what time are we going to meet? I'd love to go, but I can't leave Faye alone. Gary will babysit, won't you, son? Yeah, no problems. I don't know. Mum, I'm giving you a free pass. Well, maybe I could just for a couple of hours. I'll book a table. <laughs> All right, but not a word to Faye. This is getting out of hand. I'll tell her when I'm good and ready. No, she won't break Anna, love. You know, maybe you're right, but I'm not prepared to take that risk at this present moment. <sighs> Just gonna take him down to the Red Rack for a bit. Okay. You need anything? No. Shouldn't you be opening your stall today? <sighs> Are you serious? How am I supposed to concentrate on work? Bill's still want paying chairs. <sighs> I don't need a lecture. Well. For your information, I'm thinking about Fizz just as much as us. In case you've forgotten, she's still going to need somewhere to live when they let her out. I'll go in tomorrow. Come on, let's go, Mike. Chaz, this won't go away. I won't be long. Oh, I don't know. What happened to home sweet home? We left it floating near Antigua, remember? <laughs> um, if you can all please just gather round. Finally. This had better be good. Give him a chance. Thank you. Uh, I'll try and keep this brief, folks. 
First of all, I'd, I'd really like to apologise for any inconvenience. As I say, the book stops with me, and I am totally responsible for the current situation. You know. Exactly what is the current situation? Mrs Connor's coming to that. Yeah, I'm not, it's a fair enough question. Well, I won't beat around the bush. Over the last few weeks now, the factory has been... Well, it's been having some cash flow difficulties. <laughs> sort of gather that, is he, please? So, what's the plan, then? Oh. There is a one. What Mrs Connor means is that uh, the, the plan isn't ideal. OK, so let's have it. Uh, well, basically, um, we need everyone to work on an uh, on unpaid basis until the order's complete. Well, this is a joke, right? Oh, I've heard everything now. Like I said, it's not ideal, but we simply don't have any other choice. How long are we looking at? A week, maybe two. Two weeks? By which time you'll be paid in full along with a small bonus. This is insane! Mrs Connor is just asking for some goodwill. It's all right, Haley. I'll take over now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what we're thinking. I want to thank you, all of you, OK, for everything. I really couldn't have asked for more effort, could I? Can you turn off the machines on the way out, Haley? I don't understand. It's over, people. Factory's closed. Pack up your stuff and get out. Oh, come on. What part of out don't you understand? Um, if, if I can have a word, Mrs Connor. There's nothing else to say here. Come on. <laughs> nothing changes. Mm. Hold on second thoughts. Morning. Hey, yeah. You buy me, eh? New boss, actually. Oh, still a price. Pleased to meet you, Michelle Connor, former employee. Oh, another Connor. Yeah, well, soon to be McCarthy, though. Uh, this is my fiance, Kieran. Oh, how are you? What can I get you? Um, I'll have a glass of dry white wine, please. A taxi to the airport. You'll have a pint of lager. Right. So, are you staying for good or just visiting? Just visiting. <laughs> We're on our way to Ireland to visit the family, so we thought we'd swim by Leatherfield first. Oh, my God, are you a sight for sore eyes, eh, Michelle? Hello. Oh, Kieran, welcome back. Mm. Oh. Are you all right? No, not really. Carla's had a complete meltdown and closed the factory. She's done what? I was worried something like that might happen. She's really gone off at the deep end this time. Sorry, would someone mind explaining to me what's going on? Do you not know what's happened? Know what? Oh, it's something you need to speak to Carla about. No, Sean, just tell us. No, no, I, I really think you need to hear this from Carla. Yeah, well, look, uh, stay strong. I'm sure it'll work out. All right, we'll speak to you later. What's that all about? Julie reckons Carla's just sacked everyone. OK, what's the punchline? No, I'm serious. She's in bits. You should tell Frank. Mm, I don't know. Come on, he's got a right to know. I'm staying out of it. Sorry to interrupt, Frank. Don't be daft, Sally. Come in. It's just that I think there's a problem at Underworld. Ooh! Has it burnt down to the ground yet? Mum, please. What sort of problem? Well, Eileen's just been on the phone to Julie and she's claiming that Carla's fired all the staff. OK. I just thought you ought to know. Yeah, you did the right thing. Thanks. Look, could you just give us a minute, please? Sure. Thank you. Sounds like she's finally flipped. To be honest with you, I'm surprised it's taken this long. So what are you going to do now? Show what a nice guy I am, of course. Now, you let me do the talking, OK? Sally, could you come back in, please? Carla? Well, look who it is in. Nice tans. Right, look, she's with Michelle now, and technically, we haven't actually been sacked. Are you serious? Sean, she practically frog-marched us out of the place. That doesn't make any sense. 
Nothing does anymore. No, I mean being frog marched. Frogs don't march, they hop. Returning to our dimension, I know what you're saying is, but she didn't actually say the words. Oh, please. No, it's right. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Wake up and spell the P45. We are unemployed. And even if we weren't, what's it to go back to? Michelle or no Michelle? Our boss is a basket case. Oh, can you blame her? The poor woman's been through hell. I never said it hadn't been difficult for her. So, cut her some slack and give it a day or so. And what's the point, even if she does change her mind? There's no guarantee we'll get paid. Oh, no, Mrs Connor did assure me that it is a short-term cash flow problem. And you bet your mortgage on that. Ah, oh, well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Now, is that any way to speak to your fairy godmother? So what do you fancy doing this aft? Teaching of his own work. Anything I can help with? Don't know. What do you know about Greek gods? Not much. Ain't one an elephant. Uh, I think you're talking about Ganesh. Hmm. Well, one's definitely got a beard. Forget I asked. Look, it's from social services. Yeah, and it's addressed to Mum. Yeah, and it's about me. Please, Gary, I have to know. <sighs> you do my head in, you do. Well, what does it say? It looks like, um... It looks like I've got a little sister. <laughs> oh, so come on then. Why's the factory closed? Oh, it's complicated. Complicated enough to sack your whole workforce. Oh, shouldn't sack them. Well, that's not what your staff think. Yeah, but that's because they lack imagination. I did, in fact, save them. I don't understand. Save them from what? From the curse. That is yours truly. Carla, tell us what's happened. Where to begin? Let's try at the beginning. Come on. Take your time. I'm glad you guys are back. Things have been a bit, um... Carla, talk to me. We can't help you unless we know what's wrong. Well, you can't help me, love. There's no fixing what Frank's done to me. Frank? Frank Foster? Yep, very same. He always did have a good memory for names, didn't he? What's he done to you? Carla, what has he done? Special, but are you, you kidding? Know. They're gorgeous. It's my mom. Yeah, well, don't say anything, Shan. Duh. Hi, mom. Yeah, fine. So rings. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Tell me to mind my own, but um, are you sure you're ready for all this? Just shopping. One thousand percent. Yeah. Well then, I'm made up for you. Yes. Okay. Mark my words. This Gazette interview is just the tip of the iceberg. You say so. Oh. oh, thanks. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, if you play our cards right, we build your profile. I could lend you a national paper. Maybe even a book deal. You seen that? Oh, no, I'm not really. Well, that's my bell. At least not one, not. Mm, honestly, we handle properly the sky's the limit. Well, you can at least pretend to be excited. No, I am. Rosie, this is me. What's the matter? 
It's just I didn't like some of the questions that they asked me. Really? Mm, I thought they were quite balanced. Well, they wanted to know about my family. Mm. Well, that's just to give the story context. But it was so rude. Come on. None of that stuff's going to make it to print. You're the beauty. John Stapes, the beast. That's the only story the papers are interested in. Trust me. No one's going to get that. No one except my sister. You make me sick. Ches. I knew you were an airhead. We're making money out of other people's suffering. Well, what about my suffering? Oh, yeah, I can really see how torn up you are. Oh, well, just back up. Oh, what? Oh, come away, son. <laughs> this isn't doing any good, is it? Well, I feel popular. Don't pay him any attention. Well, it's kind of hard not to. It's all mind over matter. You mustn't mind, because he doesn't matter. You should be ashamed of yourself. Relax, yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Thank you, Izzy. Look, I'm only passing on Frank's offer. The man's a rapist. So that's a no, then. With bells on. I think you're aware of my position. After what you tried with Armoria, you're out of order for even asking. Fair enough. I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, I think I speak on behalf of everybody here. We are more than happy to disappoint. Need I ask? Where do I sign? What? Oh, perhaps you, you need a moment to think about this, Izzy. I'm not proud of myself. A job's a job. Not when it's the deal with the devil. Count me in as well. You're better than this. Please, reconsider, Julie. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? I can't even be in the vicinity of you people. Excuse me. Unbelievable. Oh, I, I do think you're both making a terrible mistake. Get the feeling we're not very popular. Oh, no, get over it. I understand you're angry. You wouldn't be human if you weren't. But so are a lot of other folk. This hasn't hurt anyone. Couldn't agree more, mate. Trouble is, now the scumbag's gone, she'll be left to copy. They'll have to go through me first. Be nice if she knew that. She knows. I can speak louder than words, Jess. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means that you're the head of the house now. It means making tough decisions. Hiya. Hi. Hey, did you have a nice day? It's right. Now then, you must be over the moon. About what? I thought you told her. I checked the cafe earlier, but she weren't there. Well, I must have popped to the shops. Now, tell me what. I opened it. I made him. Their adoption confirmation came through. Oh, my God, that's wonderful. Hey, I tell you what, tomorrow, let's have everyone over for tea to celebrate. We could invite Katie's family. Sounds all right to me. Why not have a party tonight? Well, it's a bit short notice, and besides, I've already made plans. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm meeting an old schoolmate. What's his name? It's a she. Lisa Best with the chest. A nickname and everything. Well, have fun. What's up with her? No idea. We'll try and cheer her up while I'm out with Owen. It's getting out of hand, this mum. It won't be for much longer, I promise. My life used to be so simple. You call this simple? You know what I mean. I shouldn't have to make these decisions, Kate. She won't ask you if she had the choice. Just do me a favour and ask yourself why you're saying no. Because I hate him, of course. More than you love Fizz? That isn't fair. So what's new? I know you don't want to look like a hypocrite, but your sister needs to say goodbye. All right. I'll do it. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? For proving what I already knew. That you're as brilliant a brother as you will be a dad. Never cope the way you have. You call this coping? You've had an off day. It's nothing to be ashamed of. That is right. You're a hero even you turn into work. I just want to run away and hide. You know what you happen? Whoopie do. Where's the medal? It's something to build on. I'm not sure that there's anything left in the tank, love. Come on, this isn't the Carla I knew. Oh, wow, she started to cut on. You'll survive. How? Look, even if I did have the energy. Well, I've lost all my credibility, have I? <laughs> my staff think I'm a head case, and my customers, well, they're hardly going to touch me now, are they, after this debacle? 
come on. You just need to step back and look at things from a different angle. The view won't be any different. Yes, it will. It will because we're here now and we can help you deal with things. Oh, love, you can't change what's happening up here, though, can you? I see him all the time. This is like Frank's own private little playground up here. Why do you think I tried to talk myself? Carly, you've never surrendered in your life. I just want it over. And it will, when he's locked up. Oh, that could take months. I'm hardly hanging on as it is. I need some closure. So just leave it to the jury. <sighs> well, take my chances. Well, there's no other way. There is, actually. I can refuse to give evidence and drop charges. Well, well hang on. He belongs behind bars. Carla, if you walk away now, Frank has won. He's won already. Look, I... I just... I can't do this anymore. Right, I'm sorry. I'm ringing the police for a second. I'm going to be discovering the stories and the legends of ancient Greece. Stories that you may know, may half remember, or maybe you don't know at all. Join Joanna Lumley for the concluding part of her Greek Odyssey next tonight.